Okay, select and confirm the end of an era and the start of a brand new saga. I was looking at all the stats and all the methods that we have available. I think maxing would be doable. We'll see how the next few weeks go, but it's definitely a possibility. What? <gasps> what? Dude. Wait. <laughs> we just got the banner spell. What the frick? Oh, yes. There it is. The first night. <laughs> we got it. 55 KC. Welcome back to another episode of the Trailblazer League Road to Max. Just imagine some like cool music playing right there. Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the Trailblazer League. Today, we are going to max. You can see all we have left is Herblor and Firemaking, both of which should be relatively fast. I'm not sure if we have enough supplies for either of them though. This is all the herbs that we have, and then here's all the logs that we have. We got a bunch of U-logs from Killing Giant Mole, um, so I'll just be using all the U-logs, probably a lot of the magic logs, and then we'll probably need more, so I'm going to check Kingdom in a bit as well. Right now we'll do one last herb run, and then I'll start making all of them into unfinished potions. And while I'm doing that, I'll just calculate the XP and see if that'll be enough for 99. I'll show you this really cool bank that I don't think a lot of people know about. Uh, so first we're going to use the Fairy Ring without a Draymond Staff that's in the POH to get there. And it's actually inside the Legends Guild. So if we go up the stairs here and then go up the ladder on the east side. There's actually a few bank chests up here. I have no idea why these are here and what practical use they serve, but here they are. Yeah, I was just really trying to think of like a cool bank that'd be fun to like go to and just show you guys that probably not a lot of people know about. I was just going really deep, really far back into the depths of my game knowledge to try and remember one. And this is the one that I thought of and that I came up with all by myself. Okay, we're starting off with 10,064k XP. So we've got about 3 million XP to go to 99. I guarantee Tea, we all have that one friend that calls them Grimmies instead of Grimies. I swear every time I close out the bank interface, I keep thinking this is like a person standing here. I'm like, how they find my spot? We don't have the desert, so I had to manually make all these unfinished potions, and now I'm all done. Uh, we should have all the secondaries that we need. Might have to get a couple things, but for the most part, we have most of the secondaries. And I was doing the math, uh, it looks like all the banked XP that we have in Herblore is about 4 million XP, and we only need 3 mil, so we're all set to get 99 Herblore now. Oh yeah, I guess I should show this too. I showed it in the last video, but I know not everyone watches every video. So if I take out these potions, because we have botanist, there's a 95% chance of saving the secondary, but you can't just do this because after three potions, it stops. I mean, I guess I could, but then I have to keep on manually doing this over and over. So I don't think it's worth the time. I just do 14, 14. I think that's best. Who's ready to bring back the counting simulator? Here's level 97. I mean, it's not really much of a counting simulator if there's only like two numbers to count. I just kind of ruined it anyways, never mind. 98. This knight has to get off my screen. Maybe if I like angled this. Oh, there's another knight there too, never mind. <laughs> all right, this is the last inventory for 99 herb lore. And all I've got to say about it is that this is very easy with the bots in this relic. All right, just a couple more brews here and there's 99 herb lore. All I've got left now is just fire making. We got 22.53 total. Ah oh, man, that's so cool, dude. We're so close. I can't wait to get the max cape. And luckily, we do have enough money to actually buy it. Now the question is, I haven't done the math for this yet. Do we have enough logs for 99 fire making? Okay, I just did the calculations, and if I used all the U logs and all the magic logs, that would get a 7.6 million fire making XP, which combined with the 1.3 mil that we currently have, that's not enough. So let's go check Kingdom. All right, let's uh, check the resource allocation. Location. Okay, so we have enough money in here. I've had enough money here over the last few days. I don't know how many days it's been though since I last checked. Um, we need about 1.9k maple logs in total. And I think I have like 300 in the bank. So we need to get 1.6k maple logs. Okay, I think I'm going to take that down to maybe. All right, we'll see how this is. Let's collect now. Collect resources. 
Oh my god, 1.8k, yes. All right, we're all good. We have all the logs that we need now. Okay, probably not gonna get wood anymore here in the future. I mean, I could just set this later, but just so I don't forget for later, uh, I'll probably just put into coal, maybe. I could always change it, it probably doesn't matter. Your allocation only matters when you collect. Yo, okay, this guy Grim gave me his book. He called it Grimm's book. You could tell he just crossed off ethics and just filled in Hrim there. That's it. I will not stand for this. I'm going to report this to my good friend Mark. All right, we got all these logs here. I'm going to start with the lowest tier ones. We'll start with the maples just so I can save the best for last. Uh, we've got 75 fire making and uh, I don't know. I don't really feel like doing a counting simulator for this. We're just going to start training fire making. Oh, <laughs> oh, base 80s. I didn't know that was a task. 250 points because we just got 80 fire making. You know, it's pretty crazy. I didn't think fire... What am I doing? It's pretty crazy. I didn't think fire making would be the last skill that we'd end up getting to 99, but here we are now. I remember back in the day, not to sound like a boomer or something, but I remember back in the day, like 2013, 2014, this is the method that I used to train fire making, and it wasn't like a weird method. That's just what people did. I bought maple logs because they were really cheap, and then I burned them right here at the GE, just like I'm doing now. Although I don't think I used this spot. I think I went like just south of the GE right there. But yeah, I'm feeling very nostalgic doing this right now. I remember back when Serb came out, I wanted to get 85 fire making, so I burned a lot of maple logs to get to 85 in like 2015 or 2016 because I wanted to be able to use the Infernal Axe to get like passive fire making XP. And then shortly after that, at like six months to a year after that winter toad came out which makes all that fire making i did in 2016 like completely irrelevant because winter toad super afk but yeah it's just fun to reminisce oh speaking of reminiscing i remember the maple logs used to look different too let me actually go back my videos because i have a clip from like 2015 or 16 of me training fire making and if you go really far back my videos like if you sort by oldest you'll see the clip that i'm about to show you right now this is honestly like the worst possible thing to do there's no point for fire making out i have I don't even know why I'm doing it. I, I really have no idea. Free XP and gains, I guess. Alright, here we go. And here comes 76 fire making. Not that big of a deal, but whatever. Yo, 90 fire making. I figured there'd probably be a task for getting base 90, so there we go. Another... Yeah, cool. There's no redwoods in this game mode. Ah, yes, we've got one last loser message before maxing. I will cherish it so. Wait! I didn't know if base 95s was also a task. What? Okay, well, <laughs> that's 500 points for getting base 95s, and then I would assume for maxing, we're going to get 500 more points. Dude, you actually get a lot of points just by going for max. I didn't realize there were all these. Okay, there's 98 fire making. Last level to go now. I don't know why I feel like kind of nervous for some reason. All right, there we go. We are one log away from maxing right now. Oh man, all right, spent almost four hours today fire making. We averaged a little bit over 3 million XP per hour. Uh, I guess we'll go gear up and get all the items we need and then go max. All right, so I'm just gonna tell Zach that the party is in world 539 at Lumbee Swamp by the fishing spots because that way everyone can get to Lumbridge no matter what your restrictions are. Plot twist, Zach's gonna be the only one there. Hello? Oh. <laughs> I also invited Spook Dog and Alfonso because they'd be mad if I didn't invite them. Oh my god, there's a penguin. Wait, come back. Where are you going? <laughs> Wait, where's the penguin going? Hey. Wait, come back here. Wait, how far does it go? Oh, he wants to go to those penguins. Wait, come back. It's a Dobidas. Where will he lead us? He's pondering the intricacies of life right now. We shall leave him be. Oh. Well, I salute thee. Oh, we got a genie lamp too. Um, I'd rather light the log to get the 99, so I'll just put into I don't know what I put into. I guess like a jolly. <laughs> Where are you at, bro? <laughs> Dude, Zach, I think Zach was just standing here for five minutes by himself. <laughs> yeah, so I'd say we've got a very uh, a very small party due to COVID restrictions in our area. Just a small gathering of very close friends slash family. All right, all right, Zach, weird flex, bro. <laughs> okay, I have gathered you all here today to... I actually just wrote this whole thing in my mod chat today. I was considering typing all this out in game and then just making all of them wait like five minutes for me to type all that, but I really can't be bothered. Okay, all right, we got the whole squad here. We got the whole party. All right, about to get it. Okay, three two, 
One. Here we go. <laughs> oh, dude, the Max and Trailblazer. Ah. Uh, would be okay. So we got 500 points for maxing, 250 for 99 fire making. What is next? That's a good question. Probably telling Zach to sit the fuck down. Uh, <laughs> wow, it's it's pretty cool. It's like uh, it's like the end of an arc. Like if we were if we if this was a TV series or a show, the end of season one would have been unlocking all the areas and relics. Then this would be the end of season two is like maxing, and then season three would begin after this, I guess. But um, yeah, let's let's go get the max cape. Zach has the ashes of my max and fire. I think he's gonna auction them off, so hit him up. Wait, <laughs> they all got here so fast, what? Smell you later, losers. <laughs> I guess uh, none of them can go past that tree. Okay, just pretend like I made some montage, like going through here with like some, uh, some music in the background, something like that. All right, we are off to Virgin Island. Unfortunately, I only have enough money to get one variant of the Max Cape, or just get the Max Cape. I can't afford any variants. Um, cause it costs 2277k. Oh, it's so cool that we got this on Trailblazer League. Ah, the Max Cape. Ah, dude, that's freaking sweet. Okay, let's log off and refresh the high scores. Oh, this is funny. So I was the 70th person to max. I'm also the person to max with the least XP so far. Cause like, I'm all the way at the bottom of the list. That's great. Oh, speaking of that, you know who else I beat to max? I beat Devious to max. It's not a competition though. It's definitely not a competition. It's just uh, good family friendly, wholesome fun. It is currently November 16th. So I know the videos are a few days behind. It wasn't exactly on purpose, but it's a good thing because there's grinds later on that are gonna take me multiple days to get done. So yeah, I know it's it's a couple days behind right now, but yeah, dude. Oh man, dude, this is so freaking sweet. We have the max cape now, all the skill capes in one. Huh, what now? I've been standing here for so long now, <laughs> just thinking of what to do. I think I know what I wanna do. I'm gonna go shower and make cookies. Gosh, I'm so humbled that my favorite YouTuber came to my maxing party. All right, time to log out. I could finally try out IRL now. I actually look like a mess right now, so I, I can't show my face, but we can finally go into the shower here. No, I can't show that. I could finally use that. Okay, today we're making celebratory cookies for maxing because I finally have time to spend more than four and a half minutes away from the computer. The only two ingredients that you really have to have for this is bananas and oats. And I have coconut oil as well. You could add other stuff too, of course, but those are the two main things. With bananas, the riper they are, the better. And I just so happen to have exactly three bananas that were pretty well ripened. The more ripe the bananas are, the sweeter they're going to be. And generally, I think for desserts, you probably want sweetness. I don't know how much the temperature of the oven really matters. I set it to 380 freedom units, but I think anywhere from 350 to 400 is pretty standard. If you want them to get done twice as fast though, you could also set the oven to 7 to 800 freedom units, and they'll get done really fast that way. I mush up all the banana with a fork, and then it's time to add the oats. We're gonna make oat flour using one of my favorite kitchen appliances. Oat flour is literally just blending oats. And remember, if you spill it, you gotta eat it. I don't think it's actually a thing, I think it's just me. You don't have to add just oat flour. You can add any ratio of flour and regular oats, depending on what texture you want for the cookies. Now, coming from someone who's gotten 200 mil cooking, I can confirm that cooking is definitely not an exact science. You just add whatever you want, you know? You see what you got laying around the house and toss that in if you think it sounds good. Coconut oil is actually good for so many things. Good for your skin, good for your hair, good for jerk. I saw we had some wallets laying around, so frick it dude, blend it up, add it into the mixture. Very, very important to taste test the mixture before it goes into the oven. You gotta taste test it uh, multiple times and just finger that oil and spread it across it. What, what kind of video is this, dude? <laughs> Wait, what happened to RuneScape? <laughs> hey, hey, it's my video. I'll do what I want. And then we're gonna place the cookies in the oven until they're done. I don't know how long until they're done. Just check them every five or 10 minutes until they are the way you like them. While the cookies are going, it's finally time for the celebratory biannual shower. Now that I'm 
Okay, well, I'm looking at least a bit more presentable now. As you can see, I have not shaved since the start of the league, like the day before the league was the last time I shaved. So the beard's still growing in for any of you that were concerned about it. I can smell the cookies right now, so let's go get them. Yeah, they're looking pretty good. I, I think we had 12 that went in. I, I have no idea what happened to the other one. And then we got the money shot here. I feel like the flash just makes food look so good or bad. I don't know, maybe it's kind of like alcohol. It just brings out the true qualities. Now, normally, because I maxed, I would go and show the time played, but Hans actually adds up the time between all the leagues, so it wouldn't show just this league, it would show this league plus the last league. I mean, I guess I could go and check with Hans right now, and then if you really want to, you can go to the last Twisted League episode and see my time played, and then subtract it from this time played. Oh, you know what I could do now, because like I'm, look, this is really scuffed, I know this is really dumb because I'm on a computer at the same time, but... Uh, hello there. Okay, this makes it a lot easier instead of me having to edit out like the days over here. So 40 days, six hours in total um, across both leagues on this account. <laughs> this is so dumb, dude. I could literally just open up the screen recorder. But, you know, it's it's nice to have a change of pace every once in a while. Oh, dude. Sorry, I'm eating the cookie right now. This is so cool, like wearing the max cape. I guess I could take these two out of there because I'm not going to need those anymore because the max cape pretty much will just replace that slot. I have a lot to edit right now, so I'm going to go fishing. I have no idea what else to do, so we're going to go fishing. Eventually, we'll get 25 mil XP in fishing and probably cooking, so this will be nice and really AFK while I eat dinner and edit a lot. <laughs> no, dude, I'm just, I'm, I'm fangirling over the max cape so hard. I'm so happy to have that. It's so cool. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna be fishing because I can't think of what else to do. And I guess there's really nothing to check in with. So I'll just see you back when I'm done editing in multiple hours, I suppose. Holy fruit, dude. I'm about to go to bed. I just have to check the fishing XP though. We've gained 5.4 million fishing XP tonight. All right, well, I'm gonna see you in the morning and we'll say our farewells then. I just woke up and checked the high scores and I'm now ranked 78, eight people have maxed since last night. And I'm still the one with the lowest XP. I don't know how to feel about that. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Man, yesterday just seems like so surreal that we maxed on Trailblazer. But yeah, this is gonna begin like a new season, a new saga, a new story arc, whatever you wanna call it. And uh, we're at over 20 million fishing XP now, which I didn't expect to make it that far just in like one night, but here we are. We're gonna wrap up here though. I was about to say what our total level is, but I realized it, yeah. <laughs> Um, we got 37,310 league points, and I'm very excited now to start specifically going for points. There's so many things to do, especially now that we're maxed, we can do like all the skill-related tasks. So I'm very excited for it, um, but thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope that you have a great day, and I will see you again tomorrow.